Greetings and welcome to this week's Midweek Meditation with the Minister. I'm Rev. Don Fortune at the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of the South Jersey Shore. We meet for worship on Sunday mornings at 10 a.m. Eastern at our um, facility on, at 75 Pomona Road in Galloway, New Jersey. I hope you can join us there. Uh, masks are required and we have this chairs set up for social distancing. Um, we also broadcast our services on Facebook Live, and you can find that by searching for UUCSJS on Facebook, or you can find the link on our website, UUCSJS.org. So this month we're talking about nurturing um, relationship, and relationship involves connection, and there's this piece, we have the magnificent harvest moon this week, it's just beautiful. It's late October, the air is crisp, the moon is just glorious in the sky. And it always reminds me of um, this piece by um, Marge Piercy, and it's called uh, The Seven of Pentacles, and it's uh, Connections Are Made Slowly. And I have to say, this is one of the, this is one of the pieces that, that caused me to join Unitarian Universalism. Um, as a faith, because it's in, it's in our hymnal in the back with the readings, and the first time I walked into a Unitarian Universalist congregation, uh, it was in Waterville, Maine, and I I knew nothing about this faith community. I was there for a, an assignment for an undergraduate class, and I remember flipping through the hymnal, and and I got to the back and I looked at these readings and I thought. Marge Piercy is in the hymnal. This might be a place where I can be. So, with that, um, also I encourage you to look up Marge Piercy and her poetry. Just amazing, amazing stuff. Um, buy her books. They're good for your soul. So, nurturing relationship, I'm going to read uh, The Seven of Pentacles by Marge Piercy. Connections are made slowly. Sometimes they grow underground. You cannot tell always by looking what is happening. More than half a tree is spread out in the soil under your feet. Penetrate quietly as the earthworm that blows no trumpet. Fight persistently as the creeper that brings down the tree. Spread like the squash plant that overruns the garden. Gnaw in the dark and use the sun to make sugar. Weave real connections, create real nodes, build real houses. Live a life you can endure, make love that is loving. Keep tangling and interweaving and taking more in a thicket and bramble wilderness to outside, but to us interconnected with rabbit runs and burrows and lairs. Live as if you like yourself, and it may happen. Reach out. Keep reaching out. Keep bringing in. This is how we are going to live for a long time. Not always. For every gardener knows that after the digging, after the planting, after the long season of tending and growth, the harvest comes. It's poetry by Marge Piercy. And it can be found in Singing the Living Tradition, which is our gray hymnal. Uh, came out sometime, I think, in the 1990s. Um, and this is just one of the most beautiful poems about connecting to each other and to the earth and to nature and the natural world. And, and like I said, it's one of the things that, that brought me in once I got to Unitarian Universalism and um, created room for me to stay. So, the end of October, we're thinking about harvest, and we're thinking about connections to the earth and our relationship to the world around us. Um, I encourage you to come to our services this week. We've got um, some members who are organic farmers who are going to be talking about just that relationship with the natural world around them and how they connect with the food that they grow and the communities that they that are built around um, small farming and and an ethic of living with the earth instead of taking from the earth. Uh, it's going to be pretty remarkable. 
So in the meantime, be well, take care of yourself, get your booster shot if you're eligible, wear your mask, get your vaccination if you haven't already. Um, it's important for you to be safe. It's important to keep you around for a long time. Um, you're too important to treat badly. Um, you are worthy of the love of the world and the love of the divine, whatever that looks like to you. And you are always welcome at the UUCSJS, Unitarian Universalist Congregation of the South Jersey Shore. I hope you'll join us either in person in Galloway, New Jersey, 75 Pomona Road, or online on Facebook Live, Sunday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern. I hope we'll see you there. Be well, friends.